Ooh. Alright, let me tell you the first thing I see when I'm watching Jeff Horn. First thing I see when I'm watching Jeff Horn. He right-handed, but he square up too much. He threw, he throw his right hand and square up. He square right now. He gonna get in there with Pacquiao and get fucking destroyed. Why is he even fighting Pacquiao? It's not a guarantee. Oh, look at that body shot though. You don't like that? Didn't like none of it. I mean, he's not bad, but he's not elite. Cause he do All right, so, what, so what's your assessment? I mean, obviously... He if he were to be fighting Floyd would, for his 50th fight, well, how do you think people will react? Well, you already know. How do they react to Berto, two-time champion? In, in question, how would they react? And Floyd older than Pacquiao. So, how, how would they react towards that? Like Berto, but worse. All right, then. So, what? Pacquiao should get no fucking leeway. Why not? How are you claiming to be the best in this era and you fighting somebody that nobody's ever heard of? It makes you never sense. heard of Jeff Horn? I never heard of Jeff Horn. I will fuck Jeff Horn up. So what did you see? I mean, obviously, it's just I highlights. See no garlic butter. I None. So who, who wins? Pacquiao? Yes. By stoppage. Pacquiao ain't have a stoppage since 2009. You think he could stop him? Yes. He's not an elite fighter. He's never been on that stage before. He fought Randall Bailey, who's 42. That Randall Bailey got Ra cracks. Randall up. Bailey is 42 and don't even throw a lot of punches. So that doesn't prepare you for Pacquiao? That doesn't prepare you for the movement of Pacquiao. He was actually, the funny thing is in boxing, just the double standards, Errol Spence is looking for that marquee name. And they were talking about making a fight with Jeff Horn, and people shitted on Errol Spence, who really doesn't have the elite status yet. What? Er they was gonna put Jeff Horn in there with Errol Spence? Yeah, that's his. They were trying that to. That would have been cool for Earl. Yeah, because of where he's at in his career. Yeah. But the fans, what I seen in comment section, a lot of them shitted on Errol Spence, who's kind of a newbie. But now Pacquiao fighting him is. And they trying good. to justify it. No, yeah. there's no justification for that. I don't give a fuck what they say. I don't give a fuck what they say. That's like, that's like fucking. What about people that say, these are the comments that I got on the video I did. They said, Pacquiao, he is a legend. He has nothing to, pr to prove. He's old. We're retiring. Why the fuck you fighting Jeff Horn? That is not an excuse for me. I ain't, you don't get no excuses. All right, if they talk about I fight bums and I don't even have an amateur background and then you gonna fight Jeff Horn and you the fucking best of this era? Who the fuck is Jeff? My name is Jeff. Who is Jeff? Remember 22 Jump Street? Channing Tatum said. My name is Jeff. Bro, get him the is... fuck out of here. My name is Dog, Jeff. No, that don't even make sense. They shouldn't even, the sanctions shouldn't even. That he's high, but the, the other thing is to surprise me, he actually ranked pretty high. Like he's like number one or two or well, something. I don't give a fuck what he, I don't give a fuck if he was ranked godly. He don't need to be in there with garlic butter pack. He don't need to be in there, bro. It's not even gonna be worth. That's gonna sell five thousand buys on pay per view. Nobody's gonna want to see that. What the fuck is Bob doing? Aaron, hey Aaron, man, bro, you losing points for this. Don't make it happen, bro. Put him in there with somebody else. He ducking Terrence. Why you say that? Cause he don't want to get fucking smoked. That's what it is. He don't want to get in there with Bud. Then hey, and that's why I said smoked and not garlic butter. Bud. He don't want to get in there with Bud. A twenty sack of that Bud. He don't want to get in there with it. He don't want to get in there with that Bud. You gonna get fucking smoked. And then what happened when you get high? Pull out that garlic butter and go to Benny Hanna's. It all tie together. It don't even matter why you say it. It all gonna tie together. Bud is gonna smoke Pacquiao and he's gonna take a trip to Benny Hanna's and take his camp out and they're gonna get extra garlic butter on everything. Shout out to Bud. Alright, now I gotta ask you because at on, one let me point. Put my joint out. Alright. 
What was that? Is that supposed to be Pacquiao? Ash? Yeah, that's Pacquiao. That's the Roach? Yeah, that's the Roach. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's Freddy Roach. The ro that's Roach. Wow. So, Freddy Roach. I gotta ask you this. See, this is the thing I like about interviewing you. You, you state your opinion. I remember a previous interview me and you did. I'm consistent. Touche. I remember a previous interview you said you said I like Terrence Crawford. But I still have certain questions about Terrence Crawford. Yes. Right. So if you're you're picking him to beat Pacquiao at this stage. Yes, I am. So why is that sudden shift? Because I think you said at the previously you still need to see more to to edge Pacquiao or to edge Crawford over Pacquiao. So what's changed? Uh, just his, uh, his his raised level competition with whoever he got in there with. Like the and I've seen, and stuff. Yes, I've seen he has the ability to actually hurt somebody at 140 and Pacquiao. Was came from that weight, and Terence Crawford is bigger than Pacquiao. Yeah, he's way. You know what I'm saying? Because he started at a weight higher than Pacquiao in his career. Pacquiao he, he rehydrates pretty good too. He'd be yeah. in the 155. So Pacquiao started at 106 in his career. Even though he's fully developed, Crawford started at 135. You know what I'm saying? That means a lot. My thing is, if Crawford fights Pacquiao, my biggest thing is this. Obviously. The only question I have is if, if Crawford could take his punch. If he, he takes his he, punch, it's he a... He clearly can. The thing is, Crawford ain't be, stupid enough to even be trying to take the punches. He gonna true. Be, he going to get out of there. To me, that's the only and chance. And if he fight left-handed, he not going to be getting hit with the left. Because... True. The, Straight, different yeah, angles. Yeah, going to be different. And he too, he's too tall. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna, Pacquiao going to run into some shit. And he going to box him. He going to fucking box the shit out of him, bro. So, I'm going to name... I'm going to name a couple of Terrence Crawford fights. You tell me which version, because he, it looks like Crawford could do it all, but you tell me which type of Crawford fight he'll bring to a Pacquiao fight. Like, which, which game plan? Mm. Crawford Lundy, Crawford versus Postal, Crawford versus Gamboa, or Crawford John Molina. Which, which game plan do you think he would I didn't use? see the John Molina fight, but the Crawford versus Postal is the best. That's fight. what he would the, do, the, you the think? Footwork and letting him run in the shit. That's the best. That's the best. That's the best. Okay, so just playing devil's advocate for all the fans, what would Pacquiao need to do to beat Crawford? Move his fucking head, which he doesn't do, and not come in in a straight line. He doesn't come in in a straight. He doesn't come in at an angle like everybody thinks. You don't he think he does? No, he, he has no thinking. He, he just jumps straight in. He comes that's straight true. in. He doesn't come from the side. He comes straight in, and then once he gets you to bite on that. Then he kind of hops to the side. That's a good... Hey, can you demonstrate it on the bag? Yeah. That's actually a good point. He actually, the angle, he has angles, but it's only after he's after already he launched his attack. Launched his attack. But he, to initially right come here. in, he does. That's a good point. He's like right here with it, and then he throws his punches, bang, bang, bang. Once you go to the high guard or do something... Then he hop over here, boom, 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 or hop over here. So what? So he's a reactive but fighter he almost. He go, uh, boom. He don't do it like that. He don't do that because once he he's so short. Once he make a move like that, somebody just gonna evade him. That's a good point. That's come straight in. And once you react to it, because if he would have then he, he sidesteps you. Yeah, he did it. He would do it against Floyd, but and Floyd knew that. All right, who has better footwork, Lomachenko or Pacquiao? Oh, Lomachenko. Lomachenko. Why? Why you say it like it was? So no, easy because his footwork is educated. He doesn't do moves that have make no sense. Pacquiao does. He just does. He, Pacquiao doesn't have footwork. All he does is this. That's not footwork. It's not educated. At what all. was that? Are you tap dancing? No, that's all he does is this right here. That that ain't shit. He ain't doing nothing. So what does Lomachenko do? That is shit. Uh, what he does is what he's supposed to do as a left hander. He he by he, he catch you on the quick jab. And then step to the blind side like this and get at an angle. Bang. Then once he hits you, he changed the angle again. Bang. But he already coming in at an angle on a right-hander because he going boom, boom. He right here. Quick jab over here. Uh -huh. Boom. What do you do? Hey, that is, that, is, that is good because me just being a cameraman, I'm not even evading shots, just holding the camera. Yeah. Trying it makes you work. It makes like you what work. You, what you just like did. This. To, to, for me to capture that. Yeah, for you to get that. And I have for to get Pacquiao it. I was doing this. Now just stay there. You don't have to work to do that. But once I go like this, you gotta, you gotta you move. To, and 
That's hey, that's a so be look. We look, drop, look, we, uh, but look, no, just do what you just did when I go this way. Okay. Bang! You you because I ran into right oh, into wow. the left. You dead. Garlic. Hey, butter. you fucking dead. Actually, that's a real good. But Loma Chico do this. He go. Bang. To the body, then that, bang over hey, top. Hey, Troy King, he he's schooling y'all tonight. Because yeah, what I noticed, I noticed it in the the Nicholas Walters fight with Lomachenko, and also the Rocky Martinez a lot. Is Lomachenko? He's he's such an athletic and fast dude with the with the ankles and fidgety that he'll do do the pivot you just did, and you're in position. You're not caught up to his speed, and he'll just immediately start firing on you. Yeah, bang, 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 bang. While you're out of position, yeah, like your head you is in the wrong spot. He don't He's wait. not waiting for you, he and he's wait. just getting off. And then when you throw a shot. He a uh, slip the shot and step over. But see, and if you can't catch up to that, do that good against right handers, but against left handers, I don't know how he would do that. Cause Rico like, is not gonna let you do that. He can't do that with Rigan Diaz. Yeah, cause Rigan Diaz speed Diaz timing. Will literally wait on him to the point to where it doesn't matter what Lomachenko was going and throwing punches. Rigan Diaz would just be sitting there. As soon as he tried to get off, he would just be evaded. Uh, uh, get out, get out, and then running into a left. Another another example to Rigo just so small and Lomachico is like five six, ain't he or some shit? Yeah. They say like five six, but you know. Another Rigo's another good example of what you're saying about Lomachenko's footwork versus uh, Pacquiao is if Pacquiao maybe did do the variety that like Lomachenko does with his angles, he wouldn't have got knocked out with that right because he literally he jumped ran, straight that, into that it. proves my point. He ran straight He into jumped right straight hand. into it like with that. his hands down throwing feints like this. Bang! Right into a right, fight over with. Marquez knew it, he practiced it. Yeah, he and said, I watched, I watched this thing where Marquez narrated it, and he said Pacquiao, when he does this, this certain feint combination, yeah. he knew what he does next. He does next. a double feint and then come with the jab. Come with the right hand. Yeah, jab. if he had came at some sort of an oh, angle, one, he always start out with the one-two. Because Marquez was kind of backed up in the corner, so if he would have came at some kind of angle, he, he might not have took the full no, shot at he, least. Listen, he came straight, ran right into the right hand. If he would have did like this, the right hand would have went straight this way. So he wouldn't have got knocked he out. Wouldn't have got knocked out at all. But then Marquez, if you, but you got to make adjustments. If you go that way, you got to hit him with the hook. You know what I'm saying? But. He don't, he don't come in at them angles like everybody think he do. His footwork is fucking horrible. What about them Jeff Horn angles? Jeff Horn come in squared up, and I only watch two minutes of highlight reels. He throw like this. Boom, boom, and then start throwing shots like that. So Pacquiao speed's going to give he gonna problems. He's going to run straight into a left hand because he right-handed. There you have it, Troy and King. If you can't handle Pacquiao's garlic butter, your breath going to be stanking. That's all I got to say.